Hey, in today's video, I'm going to give you tips about how to get your first videography clients, how to get that first paid video gigs. And if this is your first time on this YouTube channel, welcome. It's a pleasure to see you here. My name is Tom Strojnik and I'm a filmmaker from Slovenia that helps businesses grow with video. And I also help passionate filmmakers to learn about how to make their videos look more professional and cinematic and how to grow, basically how to grow your videography personal brand. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you my first ever paid video gig I did. To give you a quick backstory before I show you the video, basically before starting my videography career, I used to work as a gym manager and personal trainer in fitness in Kuwait first and then later in Switzerland. And what happened here in Switzerland is we hired a new coach and you know, the owner of the gym asked me if, because he saw that my videos are starting to get better and better. I was doing a lot of, creating a lot of videos as a hobby, as a passion. He noticed that and therefore he asked me, hey, Tom, can you make a video about our new coach, an introduction video? And I was like, yeah, sure. And then immediately after he asked, uh, yeah, so how much, uh, how much you're gonna charge? How much uh, does the video cost? And I was like, oh, I'm getting paid for that. You know, I'm thinking in my head, awesome. So he really caught me by surprise, but I kind of stayed calm and just like throw the number out there with confidence. I said, 500 Swiss francs. And he was like, okay. And I was like, in my head, he said, yes, whoa, amazing. And in, you know, I got paid for one and a half hour of filming and about two hours of editing. I got paid 500 Swiss francs, which was huge for me at that time. I'm not gonna promise you that you're gonna get paid so much for your first videography project. It's, it's usually gonna be between 50 to 200 euros. That's the reality. And you're probably gonna have to create a lot of free videos before, you know, to have something to show for before you actually get hired. Now, without further ado, let me show you the video and let's talk after. Hi guys, my name is Umit. I'm one of the new coaches here at Crossbox. I love training. I love helping other people. I'm gonna help you guys get stronger, faster and get much, much fitter. So the video you just finished watching was in 720p because I couldn't find the original. So I had to download it from YouTube. Luckily, I still had it. So quick pro tip, never ever delete your old footage because it's gonna be so inspiring to you when you watch it maybe a few years after and like really see the progress you did. You know, when I look at the video now, I'm like, oh my God, what's this color grading and and the compositions and like are really like progressed. Well, it was not so bad. Some compositions are really nice. So for our first video, I'm definitely, definitely happy. Oh yeah, the video was filmed with Canon 80D. It was filmed with the Kina 11 to 20 f 2.8 lens and I also used the nifty 50 f 1.8 from Canon and for stabilization I used the uh, cheap Yelangu S60T budget stabilizer that I highly recommend if you're on a tight budget and searching for a cheap solution for your DSLR or mirrorless camera. Okay, so what can you learn from my situation? Well, the first video gigs are usually going to come from people who already know like and trust you so from your circle of friends if you just start randomly cold calling around asking someone hey do you want a video do you want a video do you need a video it might work if you are really good at selling and you present a right offer to the right brand at the right time but what's usually gonna happen is the brand was want to like see some of you work work and if you have nothing to show for then there is really a small chance that you're gonna get hired. Unless you can maybe sell them on result and say something like, okay, if you don't like my work, 
you don't have to pay me. And that means that you will really, really have to put your heart into it to create something that the brand will like. But much easier path is that you simply start creating videos for a passion, post them on your social media, so your circle of friends notices the video, notices the, your progress. You know, there's always that, that 10,000 hour rule. You just have to put a lot of time into it and videography does take a lot of time to learn. What will usually happen, like it happened in my case, somebody will notice the, that you're doing good job if you're doing a good job, of course, and they will say, say, hey, can you do a video for me as well? And at the beginning, I highly, highly suggest you that you say yes to everything. And, and I mean everything, it doesn't matter about the price, as long as you're like building your experiences, building your connections and just expanding your network. Because I'm telling you, yes, paid advertising and all of that is important and it definitely helps, but don't underestimate the word of mouth marketing when somebody recommends you to their friends. Okay, but what to do if nobody is reaching out to you? You are you're posting quality videos on social media, people are giving you positive feedback so you know that your work is good, but nobody calls you about like doing that paid video gig. In that case, what I would do is I would go through all of the my Facebook friends and Instagram followers, just check who of them has a business, what are they doing, and give them an offer. And it's gonna be a much higher chance that they're gonna say yes because they know you. It's not, not just like some random person knocking on the door and it's the first time that they see them. Now, a key point here is that you actually have something to show for, as already said, and that that content is relevant to their brand. Because for example, I, I used to film a lot of uh, fitness stuff. I filmed my trainings and my wife trainings. And therefore, my first paid video gig was, well, fitness related. And then later, what I did is I created a ton of travel vlogs, travel adventure videos, because I knew that that's the type of brands that I want to attract. And it started happening. And again, to make it completely risk-free for them, you can say, hey, if you don't like the video or if my video doesn't produce the results, you don't have to pay me. And even if you don't get paid, nothing wrong with that at the beginning because you still got that valuable experience and you still got something to show for, to include in your portfolio. So yeah, this was a quick tip about how to get your first videography clients. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer in the comments below. Subscribe if you like the content and I will see you in the next video.